It's that time of year again. The bottom trawling season has begun, with the fleet now heading out to trawl seamounts in the name of New Zealand fishing. Last year, a whole host of environmental groups came together to stop this. More than 50,000 New Zealanders joined the call to protect these wildlife hotspots from the destruction of bottom trawling. We took this message straight to the government last November, calling on them for stronger ocean protections. But despite our demands, the Minister of Fisheries is not biting. The door has remained firmly closed on our attempts to discuss this issue with the Minister. Which seems strange, given that a text from the tally's bosses lands a meeting with the Minister on the very same day. Meanwhile, we've watched as the government has increased quota and lobbied for even less bottom trawling protections in the South Pacific. How long can this government ignore the voices of ordinary New Zealanders who want to see the oceans better protected? Lockdowns around the world have given us a glimpse of what happens when we leave nature alone. But out on the ocean, bottom trawling is still going strong and the New Zealand government is doing nothing to stop it. The health of the ocean, the climate, and all life on Earth is interlinked. Protecting the biodiversity of the deep sea protects us all. I haven't got time for any of this poisonous gossip from these political puffers. 